We would like to start off this video with a question. When you think of the most powerful and wealthiest person in your nation, who comes to mind? The answer to that question may vary depending on which nation is considered. For many, power and wealth are separate. For example, the President of the United States is the most powerful man in the world. But he isn't even the 1,000th wealthiest. With that said, if you're from another part of the world, which in the case of this video is Africa in particular, wealth and power are intertwined. Africa's supposed public servants end up serving themselves and whilst their citizens languish beneath the poverty line without any aid while having degrees worth nothing, but the paper they are made of and unemployment skyrockets. Today we are going to run a countdown of the net worth of various heads of state and government. We are also going to see that similar to the system in the UK with King Charles III, Africa has some constitutional monarchies as well. Only that, some of these leaders get voted on to the supposed throne. Our list covers every African country. So, there are a lot of talking points, controversy and fun stories about presidents and leaders. The first country on our list president has the least net worth on the continent, and hence the last country's president has the highest net worth. Burkina Faso In the 2022 Burkina Faso coup d'etat, Paul Henry Sandago de Miba, a Burkina B military officer, overthrew President Rock Mark Christian Cabaret on January 24, 2022. He now serves as the leader of the Patriotic Movement for Safeguard and Restoration. The military junta reinstated the constitution on January 31 and named de Miba as acting president. He has a net worth of over $200,000. Sao Tom Carlos Manuel Villanova has been the nation's fifth and current leader since October 2, 2021. In the succeeding administrations of Prime Minister Patrice Trevoda, he held the positions of Minister of Public Works and Natural Resources and Minister of Infrastructure, Natural Resources, and the Environment. He has a net worth of over $400,000. Cape Verde Jose Maria Pereira Neves of Cape Verde now holds the office of president after serving as prime minister from 2001 to 2016. He belongs to the African Party for Cape Verdean Independence. He defeated Carlos Vega, who received 42.4% of the total vote, in the 2021 presidential election, winning with 51.7% of the vote. He has a net worth of over $600,000. Ethiopia Sol Wurgsud is a politician and diplomat from Ethiopia. She is the first female president of Ethiopia and has held the position since 2018. On October 25, 2018, the members of the Federal Parliamentary Assembly unanimously chose her to be their president. Sol Work was ranked as the 96th most powerful woman in the world and the highest ranking African woman on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women, published annually by the American business magazine Forbes. She has a net worth of over $800,000. Central African Republic Faustin Archange Tuadera, a Central African politician and professor, has been the president of the Central African Republic since March 2016. He was the Prime Minister of the Central African Republic from January 2008 to January 2013. In the second round of voting for president during the December 2015 to February 2016 election, he defeated former Prime Minister Anissa Georges Dalogale. He was elected to his second term of service on December 27, 2020. He has a net worth of over $1.5 million. Djibouti Ismail Omar Gel is the current president of Djibouti. One of the longest serving leaders in Africa, he has been in power since 1999. His initials, IOG, are frequently used to refer to him as the hand-selected successor to his uncle, Hassan Gould Abtadon, who had controlled Djibouti since independence in 1977. Gele was first elected as president in 1999. Gele received another mandate in 2005, 2011, 2016, and 2021. He is France's staunch ally on the global stage. He has a personal net worth of over $1.7 million. Niger 
Abdul Bazoum is the current president of Niger, he has held the post since April of last year. He presided over the Nigerian Party for Democracy and Socialism prior to being elected president. He also held the position as Minister of Foreign Affairs twice, from 2011 to 2015 and from 1995 to 1996. He served as the President's Minister of State from 2015 to 2016 and the Interior Minister from 2016 until the summer of 2020, when he quit to concentrate on his bid for the 2020 to 21 presidential election. With 55.67% of the vote against former President Mahamain Ousmane, Bazoum won the second round of the presidential election. Bazoum is the first Difat Arab president of Niger and a Sunni Muslim. He has a net worth of over $1.8 million. Malawi Since June 2020, Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera, a former theologian and Malawian politician, has presided over that country. In accordance with the Malawian constitution, he holds both the presidency and the position of Minister of Defense. Since 2013, he has served as the head of the Malawi Congress Party. Prior to that, he served as leader of the opposition in the National Assembly after the Constitutional Court invalidated the results of the hotly contested elections that were held on May 21. He has a net worth of over $2 million. Congo Kinshasa officially known as the Democratic Republic of Congo Since January 25, 2019, the Democratic Republic of the Congo has been led by Felix Antoine Shizikiti Chilombo. The DRC's oldest and largest party, the Union for Democracy and Social Progress, is led by him. He has a net worth of over $2.3 million. Gambia Adama Barrow is the current president of Gambia. Barrow defeated longtime incumbent Yahya Jami in the 2016 presidential election with 43.34% of the vote. Jami originally agreed with the outcome but then changed his mind forcing Barrow to flee to Senegal, a neighboring country. On January 19, 2017, he was sworn in at the Gambia's embassy in Senegal. On January 21, Jami was compelled to flee the country and enter exile. On January 26, Barrow visited the Gambia once more where he has since retained power. He has a net worth over $2.5 million. Angola since September 26, 2017, Ju Manuel Gontalves Lorento, an Angolan politician, has presided over the country as president. Prior to this, he served as defense minister from 2014 until 2017. He became leadership of the ruling party, the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola, in September 2018. From 1998 to 2003, he served as the party's secretary general. He has a personal net worth of over $2.8 million. Senegal Senegalese politician Macky Sall has served as the country's president since April 2012. In February 2019, he won re-election as president in the first round of voting. Sall served as Senegal's prime minister under President Abdoulaye Wade from July 2004 to June 2007, and as the National Assembly's president from June 2007 to November 2008, from 2002 to 2008, and again from 2009 to 2012, he served as the mayor of Fatak. He has a net worth of over $3 million. Burundi Since June 18, 2020, General Avorist Neishimai, a Burundian politician, has presided over the country. During the Burundian Civil War, he joined the Rebel National Council for the Defense of Democracy Forces for the Defense of Democracy and advanced through its militia. After the war, he joined the Burundian army and served in a number of governmental positions under President Pierre Nkurunziza. Neishimai received Nkurunziza's support as his replacement prior to the 2020 elections, which he easily won. He has a net worth of over $3 million. Mozambique Philip Jacinto Nusi is a politician from Mozambique and has been the country's fourth president since 2015. He currently serves as the head of FRDLIMO, the political force in charge of Mozambique, ever since it gained independence from Portugal in 1975. In addition, from August 2020, he has held the position of chairman of the Southern African Development Community. He has a net worth of over $3.6 million. Mauritania since 2019, Prifarash Rupun, 
also known as Pradeep Singh Rupan, has been the seventh president of Mauritius. He held the position of Minister of Arts and Culture from January 2017 to November 2019. Reggae music from Jamaica was added to the representative list when he was in office as the chair of UNESCO's Intergovernmental Committee for the Safeguard of the Intangible Cultural Heritage's 13th session. He has a personal net worth of over $3.7 million. Libya Libyan politician and diplomat Mohamed Yunus al Menfi is from Tobruk, was selected to lead the Libyan Presidential Council during the Libyan Political Dialogue Forum on February 5, 2021. He had previously been the Libyan ambassador to Greece. He has a net worth of $4.2 million. Guinea Bissau Yumaro Mokhtar Sissoko Mbalo is the president of Guinea Bissau and has served in that capacity since February 27, 2020. He is an officer in the military and a political scientist who previously held the position of Prime Minister from 18 November 2016 until 16 January 2018. Mbolo holds degrees in political science and international relations from the Complutense University of Madrid, as well as a PhD in international relations from the Higher Institute of Social and Political Sciences at the Technical University of Lisbon. He speaks Portuguese and Spanish with ease and has a working knowledge of English, French, Arabic, and Swahili. He has a net worth of $4.4 million. Algeria Abdelmajid Tabaun has been Algeria's President and Defense Minister since December 2019. Abdelaziz Bouflika and Abdelkader Ben Salah, the previous President and Acting Head of State, both lost their positions to him. Prior to this, he served as Algeria's Prime Minister from May to August 2017. He has a personal net worth of over $4.6 million. Guinea Since October 1, 2021, Mamadi Dambouya, a military officer from Guinea, has been acting as Interim President of Guinea. On September 5, 2021, Dambouya organized a coup d'etat that resulted in the removal of Alpha Conde as President. He is a former French legionnaire and a member of the Guinean Special Forces Group. Dambouya said on state television the day of the coup that his faction had overthrown the government and constitution in a broadcast. Dambouya was sworn in as the interim president on October 1, 2021. He has a net worth of $5.5 million. Sierra Leone John Mata Wonibayo has served as Sierra Leone's president since 4 April 2018. He served as the military head of state of Sierra Leone from 16 January 1996 to 29 March 1996 under the National Provisional Ruling Council, a military junta. He is a retired brigadier general in the Sierra Leone Army. In the second round of the 2018 presidential election in Sierra Leone bio, the nominee of the main opposition Sierra Leone People's Party defeated Sanura Kimura of the incumbent All People's Congress with 51.8% of the vote to Kamara's 48.2%. The election was deemed free and fair by both international and regional observers. He has a net worth of $6 million. Tunisia Kai Said, a politician, judge, and retired professor of law from Tunisia, has presided as the country's fifth president since October 2019. From 1995 to 2019, he served as the Tunisian Association of Constitutional Law's president. Said entered the 2019 presidential race as an independent social conservative endorsed by Anada and others from across the political spectrum. Said has worked in a variety of legal and academic professions since the 1980s. Said, who conducted little campaigning while running on a populist platform, aimed to win over younger voters by promising to fight corruption and supporting election system improvement. On October 23, 2019, he took the oath of office after defeating Nambul Karui in the election's second round with 72.71% of the vote. He has a personal net worth of over $7.8 million. Zimbabwe Since November 24, 2017, Emerson Dambudzo Mangagwaz led Zimbabwe country as president. He was Robert Mugabe's vice president until November 2017 when he was fired before taking over in a coup d'etat. He was a longtime associate of the former president and a member of ZANUPF. He has a personal net worth of over $10.2 million. Botswana 
Mark Wietse Eric Kibetsui Masisi, Botswana's fifth president, has been in office since 2018. From 12 November 2014 to 1 April 2018, he was Botswana's eighth vice president. From 2009 until 2018, he served as a representative for the Moshupa Maniana district in the National Assembly. He has a net worth of over $20 million. Ivory Coast Since 2010, Alassane Tremaine Ouattara has presided over the Ivory Coast. Professionally trained as an economist, Ouattara served as the Prime Minister of Cote d'Ivoire from November 1990 to December 1993, having been chosen for the position by President Félix Poufau-Boigny. He also worked for the International Monetary Fund and the Central Bank of West African States. He has a personal net worth of over $20 million. Liberia George Tallin Mane Apong Ausman Wea has been president of Liberia since 2018. He is a former professional footballer and Liberian politician. Wea represented Monserrato County as a senator before being elected president. In his lengthy 18-year professional football career, which concluded in 2003, he was a striker. He is the first former professional African footballer to hold the position of head of state. He has a personal net worth of over $38 million. Chad General Mohamed Idris Debietno, also referred to as Mahmat Kaka, serves in the Chadian Army. He also leads the Transitional Military Council. He is the eldest child of the late president of Chad, Idris Deby. On April 20, 2021, he took over as acting president of Chad when his father, Idris Deby, was killed in action while leading forces in the Northern Chad Offensive. In the past, he oversaw the military's second-in-command during the Chadian intervention in northern Mali. He has a personal net worth of over $54 million. Congo Brazzaville, officially known as the Republic of Congo. Denis Sassoon Gesso is the current president of Congo Brazzaville. He previously held the office from 1979 to 1992. He served as the leader of the Congolese Party of Labor for 12 years during his first term in office. Sassoon Gesu defeated six opponents to win the presidency in the presidential election that was held on March 21, 2021, receiving 88.4% of the vote. God Bryce Parfit Kalelis, who was his major rival, came in second with 7.96% of the vote. Matthias Devon garnered 1.92%, and the other four contenders each received less than 1%. He has a net worth of over $70 million. Nigeria Monamadu Buhari has served as Nigeria's president since 2015. He is a former major general in the Nigerian army, who led the military government of the nation from 31 December 1983 to 27 August 1985 after staging a military coup. The autocratic practices of his military rule are referred to as Guberism. He has a personal net worth of over $80 million. Eritrea Isaias Afwerki has been the president of Eritrea ever since he led the Eritrean People's Liberation Front to victory in May 1991, putting an end to the country's 30-year fight for independence from Ethiopia. Isaias is not only the leader of Eritrea's only legitimate political party, the People's Front for Democracy and Justice, but he also serves as its chairman. Isaias is the only power in Eritrea, and he has complete control over the country's judicial and military systems due to the absence of a functioning constitution, elections, a legislature, and a published budget. He has a net worth of over $100 million. Uganda Yori Kaguta Musfani Tibio Burwa is the current president of Uganda and has held the position since the 29th January 1989. Milt Nobot and Idi Amin of Uganda were overthrown by rebellions conducted by Yoweri Museveni with the assistance of then-current military leader Tito Okello before he came to power in 1986. Scholars have labeled Museveni's administration as a liberal democracy or competitive authoritarianism. Government has always had influence over the press. In the past 30 years, no election in Uganda has been deemed to be free and transparent. The Electoral Commission discovered on January 16, 2021, that Museveni had declared himself the winner after receiving 58.6% of the vote, despite numerous recordings and reports that demonstrate ballot box stuffing, over 400 polling locations with 100% voter turnout, and human rights violations. 
Tanzania Samia Salu Hassan is a politician from Tanzania. She has been Tanzania's sixth and first female president since 2021. She is the third woman to lead a member state of the East African community and a member of the dominant social democratic Chama Cha Mapinduzi party. She has a net worth of over $117 million. Eswatini Just like the United Kingdom, Eswatini has a constitutional monarchy. King Maswani III of Eswatini is the current monarch and head of state. He is worth over $200 million, and in 2018 the constitutional government in Eswatini gifted him a $13.2 million private jet for his birthday. Cameroon Since November 6, 1982, Paul Bia has presided over Cameroon. He is the oldest head of state in the world and the president of Africa, with his second longest tenure. He is one of the highest paid non-monarch head of state in the world, with an annual salary of $600,000, which is more than the US president, and more than thrice the annual salary of the British Prime Minister. He has a net worth of over $200 million. Kenya Since September 13, 2022, William Kipchurcher Samoe Orap Ruto has held the office of President of Kenya. From 2013 to 2022, he served as Kenya's 11th Vice President before being elected President. His predecessor Uhuru Kenyatta, son of Jomo Kenyatta, was reportedly worth over $500 million before leaving office. Ruto has a net worth of over $300 million. Zambia The former businessman, farmer, and Zambian politician, Hakane Hichilema, has served as Zambia's seventh president since August 24, 2021. He had run for president five times before in 2006, 2008, 2011, 2015, and 2016, winning with more than 59% of the vote. Since Anderson Mazoka, the party's founder, passed away in 2006, he has served as the party's leader. He has a net worth of over $389 million. Benin Patrice Goulon Athanase Talon, a politician and businessman from Benin, has served as the country's president since April 6, 2016. In the presidential election in March 2016, Talon ran as an independent. In the first round of voting for an emerging Benin, he came in second place to Prime Minister Lionel Zinsu of the Kauri forces, but won the second round with 65% of the votes. On election night, Zinsu resigned. Talon stated that he would first and foremost pursue constitutional reform in a statement made on March 25, 2016, outlining his proposal to limit presidents to a single five-year term in order to fight complacency. He also declared his intention to cut the size of the government from 28 to 16. He has a net worth of over $400 million. Rwanda Paul Kagame, former military officer, Rwandan politician, assumed power in 2000, making him Rwanda's fourth and current president. Kagame formerly served as the commander of the Rwandan Patriotic Front, a Uganda-based rebel organization that invaded Rwanda in 1990. The Rwandan Patriotic Front was also one of the parties to the Rwandan Civil War and military force that put an end to the genocide in that country. He has a net worth of over $500 million. Equatorial Guinea Teodoro Obiang Guima Masogo is an Equatoguinean politician and former military officer who has served as the second president of Equatorial Guinea since August 1979. He is the longest serving president of any country ever and the second longest consecutively serving current non royal national leader in the world. He is reportedly worth $600 million, and his son, whom is currently vice president, is worth over $220 million. Gabon Since October 2009, Ali Bongo Ondimba, also referred to as Ali Bongo, has served as the third president of Gabon. Omar Bongo, who presided over Gabon from 1967 until his passing in 2009, was Ali's father. From 1989 to 1991, he served as Bongaville's delegate in the National Assembly. From 1991 to 1999, he served as Defense Minister. From 1999 to 2009, 
He has a net worth of over $1 billion and is the wealthiest non-monarch head of state in Africa. Morocco This country is yet another African nation with a constitutional monarchy. King Mohammed VI is the head of state of Morocco and receives a daily operating budget for his palace of $96,000 and gets paid $440,000 annually by the constitutional government. King Mohammed has an estimated net worth of over $2.1 billion, which makes him the wealthiest head of state in Africa. King Mohammed concludes our list of the net worth of every African president 2022. So which president do you think is the most corrupt and why? Let us know in the comments below. Also, as you enjoyed this video and haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button, and we'd be delighted to have you as a member of our community here at Think Rich Africa. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.